Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast. Got a comic book this time. This is special preview issue, first cut, Razor Line, Superheroes from the Mind of Claw Barker. Now, this was, what year was this? I should have done that before I started. 1993, September 93, so it probably came out in July. So anyway, I said it's a preview issue and get all the different... Razor Line was Barker's second attempt at a series of comics from Marvel. He'd done um, Hellraiser, Nightbreed, through Marvel's Epic Line. He'd done, you know, his books of blood stuff was coming out through, what, Eclipse, if I remember right? Then he tried for superheroes. And all this is is just a little information, got a little write-up by Barker here. And then we got the different, we got Hokum and Hex, who was a magician that fought crime. Kind of Doctor Strange-ish. And you see you get like a little couple page information on them. Then we get a few pages from the first issue. And this is created by Clyde Barker, written by Frank Lovis, and pencils by Anthony Williams. Andy Lanning is the only person on this besides Barker I've heard of. And Razorverse seems to be forgotten. I've read a few issues of a couple of series. There's only two of them that seem to even be remembered anymore for different reasons, and I'll talk about that when I get to them. All right, let me get the last page. Then we got Saint Center. This is the one that's kind of remembered because Barker took this idea, changed it up a little bit, made a, at least here in the States, it premiered on the Sci-Fi Channel movie. I've never actually watched it. I do have it. I've never watched it. It was a neat idea. Let's see. Saint Center is perhaps the most challenging, not to say strangest, of the first four Razor Line pro projects. A comic that will hopefully stay stray where a few mainstream titles have gone before. It's not a traditional superhero title. Though its protagonist and most of its antagonists will possess extraordinary powers of one kind or another. But then neither is it intended as a horror fantasy title. Perhaps we're best thinking of it as a book of shaman's tales. Journeys into the darkest and brightest regions of the imagination. They'll touch on folklore, urban legend, religious mythology, and pop culture in equal measure. Neat premise. And again, you get a couple pages. Then we get... Where are the credits on this? Clyde Barker, Elaine Lee... Doing the story and Max Douglas doing the art. Good art. Now, this is not one of the ones I've read. I'll point out there's only a couple of these I've read a few issues from. Quite a few pages. And this book, I don't remember ever seeing much of. Hypercon. This is the one I've actually read. This is kind of like their superhero team. And the first issue had like a chromium or foil cover, if I remember right. Um, let's see. This one, actually, if I remember, I had people on it that I've heard of. Let's see. Fred Burke, Paris Collins is the artist. Fred Burke does the story. And that's from the first issue. It, none of these lasted more than about six or seven issues, maybe eight total. And I think there is something that now might actually have a little collectability to it because people, there is a huge Barker fandom out there. And this is not as well known as this like stuff from Epic and all that. Ecto Kid, and this is a kid who. I think he's like part ghost. He could see ghost. Neat little idea. If I'm remembering right, this is the one that one of the Wachowski, now sisters, I think both of them have transitioned. Ever I know at least one of them has. But brothers back then, <laughs> excuse me, worked on. Nice moody artwork. Um, written by James Robinson. Art by Steve Scrose and Bob Dvorak. Okay, so James Robinson. The later issues, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was written by one of the Wachowskis. And then we get the fun. Then we get like an afterwards. And I said this was a little preview title. You paid 75 cents and says direct edition. Of course, I don't think this ever had a newsstand edition. I don't think any of these titles had a newsstand edition. You got four previews for 75 cents back when a comic was buck twenty-five. It's pretty much forgotten nowadays. But if you're a horror fan, you're a Clyde Barker fan, this is something to look out for. The Razor Line, none of it's worth much. I mean, I see the issues in cheap bins consistently, you know, fairly often. But if you enjoy uh, superhero stuff, you enjoy Clyde Barker, give this a shot. Well, that's it for this time. If you enjoyed, remember, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.